What's going on? This is Demetrius Brown with the Rich Before 30 group here in Philadelphia, PA. We're here with my uh, buddy here. What, what is your name, sir? David. David. Okay. We, we, I came across David. He had a sign. Could you, you feel like selling the sign? All right. He said, homeless and hungry. Please help. Thanks. God bless. He seems like a cool guy. So we just wanted to ask him, Rob, what is your experience? Well, first off, how long have you been homeless for now? I've been homeless now for about six months. All right, for about six months. And what was going on like before the six months? I mean, before six months? Uh, I was having problems with my family. Me and my dad weren't getting along. Um, I'm adopted, so it was hard for me to bond with my family. Um, me and my dad ended up getting into a fight, and I ended up getting kicked out of the house. Um, I had nowhere to go, no friends to stay with, so I ended up on the streets of Philly. Um, now it's it's hard to survive out here, but it, it's definitely possible. Um, there's a, there's a lot of like shelters and everything, and they definitely help out a lot. But I mean, it, it's still a constant struggle from day to day. All right. What is the the main misconception or mis you know confused thing that people get about homeless people that maybe you want to share? Um, I feel like when people see homeless people, they automatically assume that they're drug addicts or alcoholics, which isn't the case for everybody. You know, like me, I don't get high. I mean, I don't drink or anything. And it's it's hard for me to, to talk to people because they automatically assume that the money that I have goes to drugs. Wow. And are you originally from Philly? No, I'm originally from West Hampton, New Jersey. Oh, okay. That's like South Jersey? Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. And what is the like worst experience that you, like, being homeless, like, is there anything that prior to six months ago you wouldn't imagine that you've experienced in the past six months? Um, I mean, like, getting hypothermia and, like, stuff like that. I mean, that's really the only thing and not eating for a couple of days at a time. But, I mean, for the most part, I mean, other people don't mess with me. Like, the other homeless people, they don't really bother me. And I don't have too many problems. Uh, do you have, like, um, do you still keep in contact with any family members at all? I know you're dead. You had that problem or challenge or whatever. But do you keep in communication with any other of your family members? Um, I talk to my sisters and my mom from time to time. But it, they kind of took my dad's side in the whole situation. So it, it's hard for me to uh, get, build a relationship again with them and get their trust back. All right, so do you have a plan, like, to, you know, over the next six months? Like, do you have a plan to maybe get work or, you know, better your situation? Do you have things lined up? Um, I've been looking for a job um, when I have time, you know, and uh, I just hope to uh, get a job and just work and save my money and get my own place and just work from there. All right, man. That's cool. And so you, do you live in a shelter or what? I'm staying at uh, Sunday Breakfast on 13th and Pearl. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it pretty cool there or what? Um, it's calm. It's, it's all right. For a shelter, it's not bad. All right. So if there was one, is there anything? Well, how old are you, do you if you I'm don't 20. mind? I'm 20. Oh, you're 20. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you've been since you're about 19. Yeah. All right, so do you ever see any of your old friends or anything? Ever, ever since being homeless, they, they kind of don't really understand, you know, what I'm going through, and it was hard for them to keep in contact with me because I don't have a phone. So, I mean, a couple of my friends I see from time to time, and they help me out with money and a place to stay for a while, but for the most part, not really. All right, what was your outlook on homeless people before six months ago? Like, did you think it would ever... Throughout your whole life, did you ever think that, you know, it could, homelessness could happen to you personally? I never actually imagined that I would ever be on the streets. Um, I, always, I used to, I was one of those guys that when I did see homeless people, I'd stop, you know, and talk to them. If they need something to eat, I'd help them. And I never expected to be in that situation. Wow. So you have pretty much a, a pretty positive outlook on life, even though you're in your situation. You know things will get better? Yeah, I have a lot of faith in God, too, so... Yep. All right. So, um, well, I'm I, as I do this all around the the world, I get extremely excited just to know that there's, you know, each person is an individual, and I, as I speak to different people, I, the one thing I notice about you is that you're you're very positive. You know things are gonna get better. It sounds like you you had you have a plan, and you know you also been through a lot, but that's gonna bring you through. You know what you're going through. Is there anything that you would like to share? to the people that's watching, maybe the government, or maybe this video gets in the hands of the right person, and um, we could bring more awareness to, you know, homeless people in America. 
Um, I could just say that maybe keep working on resources like shelters and food banks and um, just stuff like that, you know. I think that would be very helpful. Okay. Is, is there anything positive that you've experienced? Last question. Is there anything positive that you've experienced in the past six months since you've been homeless? Um, Maybe a nice person or well, something. Actually, somebody was, did something there nice. Was a, there was a couple that stopped and didn't, don't, don't know me from a can of paint. And they took me to dinner at uh, Ruth Chris's Steakhouse. Mm. And, yeah, they, I spent the night with them at their apartment. And I think that was pretty much probably the best thing that's happened since I've been out here. Why? Wow. What did you? How did you feel when that happened? A random act of kindness like that. Uh, I felt weird at first. I mean, I was very appreciative and grateful for what they did. It was kind of awkward because I didn't know them, but um, I was definitely thankful. Wow, that is really, really awesome, man. And as I always say, because uh, I push positive mindset and you know personal growth all across the world, and I'm always known for just screaming out, "I'm fired up." And I'm ready to go. If you don't mind just uh, saying it with me, just to let people know that, you know, no matter what your adversity is, you can still be excited about life and ready to go to the next level. So I'll say it first. If you could just repeat it after me. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. And I'm ready to go. And I'm ready to go. All right. This is Demetrius Brown, Rich Before 30, bringing more awareness to homelessness in America. Thanks.